Now, from KPRC Channel 2 Sports, it's Friday Football Frenzy, presented by UT Physicians, your home team for health care. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Friday Football Frenzy here at Freedom Field in Alvin. What a stadium. We've had a blast here tonight. We've taken the road show to Brazoria County tonight. Second week of the season, and of course, you know the drill for the Frenzy. We're all over the greater Houston area for the next 20 minutes. We're going to move fast. Scores at the bottom of the screen. Also, download the Frenzy app if you haven't already. Also, go to the Frenzy page on click2houston.com. Let's not waste any time. Let's start Started tonight here at our game of the week, Shadow Creek and Magnolia. Shadow Creek, a state finalist a year ago, going 15 and 1, hosting Magnolia. Start to finish all Shadow Creek tonight. Early first quarter, Creek's Kyra drones on the keeper from a yard out. First of many for him, put him up 7 0. Later in the first, 14 zip when drones now under pressure, fires cross field to receiver Seth Jones. Wide open back of the left corner there, technically only a two yard score. Six more made it 21 0. Sharks biting again. Second quarter. Drone just having a field day against the Magnolia D. Photojournalist James Perry. Yes, JP with a shout out all over this one. Other end is CJ Gidry. 82 yards to the house, 28 0. It was 42 0 at the half. And it's all Shadow Creek tonight by a final 49 0. Now 2 0 to start the season. All right, I'm here with the winning Sharks tonight. How about yeah. the field, guys? All right, Kyron Drones, the uh, quarterback, six touchdowns. I, I know a big night for you, but you give a lot of credit to your teammates, especially yes, up front, sir. don't you? I just want to thank the O-line for blocking and the receivers for making me complete the pass and the defense. We all just came out and dominated every week. That's our plan is just dominate each team. All right, you're, you're off to now 2-0 and start. It's a long season ahead, just like you guys had it last year. You know what it takes to, to get to that ultimate destination. How's this team coming together right now? We, we all coming along good. We just come out and practice play like it's a game and dominate each game day. All right. Shadow Creek 2-0. Oh. They got Elsick next week. 3-0, oh, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. All right, congrats to them. Hey, to Turner Stadium, we go Katie and Atascacita, the other big game tonight. First quarter, Katie strikes. Katie's Bronson McClellan rolls out. His Jordan Patrick in stride. How about 77 yards on this thing? Seven zip Tigers on top. Atascacita answers. Bryce Matthews connects with Darius Edmonds. 36-yard TD. Game tied at seven. But back comes Katie the rest of the night. Ron Huff. 37-yard touchdown run. He was big against North Shore, big again tonight. Katie rolls 56-14. The Tigers and Gary Joseph's club off to a 2-0 start. Let's take it to Del Mar Stadium now. The Woodlands making the trip inside the city, facing Lamar. First place, second half. Woodlands, Dawson Shepard with the pick. Makes a move and takes it to the end zone. The Highlanders on top, 21-3. Lamar answers back. Caleb Randall gets the handoff. He'll score. Lamar down 21-10. But in the fourth, Ben Mills connecting with Cole Dotson. And it'd be the Woodlands getting the W tonight. 31 to 10, the final over Lamar. From there, let's go to League City now. Clear Falls taking on Texas City. The Knights on the move. Running back Quinn Bowen has the rock finds and scoots to daylight. The junior rumbles 60 yards downfield for the touchdown. Cy Falls on top 7-0. Texas City answers with a power run from Corday Williams right up the middle. He's met inside the five, but pulls his way in, and that would tie it at seven. After that, the Clear Falls takes care of business. They get the win tonight over Texas City by final 49 to 7. All right, a few miles away. Let's go to Columbia Challenger Stadium. Clear Creek already up 20 to 14 over Deer Park, but here come the Deer. Quarterback Matthew Potts looking for Clyde Bellow and finds him over the middle. Bellow makes a cut. 46-yard touchdown. They're going to go on top 21-20. What a game here. Clear Creek would go back in front, though. Sophomore running back Jeremiah Crum takes the handoff. That's an easy score right there. They went up 27-21, but it's Deer Park with a late rally. The Deer get the win, 28-27 the final. All right, uh, Summer Creek and Dawson. First the lateral, then the pass downfield. How about Summer Creek completely fooled right there. Receiver Alex Boudreaux doesn't have a Bulldog defender within 30 yards of him. 76-yard TD reception right there. What a play. Another big play on the scramble. Miles Kitt Denton finds Blake Smith the catch and slides into the defender right there for the 41-yard touchdown. 
and Dawson cruises 44 to 20. Dawson a winner over Summer Creek tonight. All right, more highlights coming up. We're just getting started on the second week of the Friday football frenzy. On the way out, the Itasca Cedar Band takes us to break. And now it's time for the Friday Football Frenzy Play of the Game. Brought to you by Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. All right, time for our Freddy's Frozen Custard Steak Burgers Play of the Night. Clyde Kane quarterback Luke Pardee throws it up for receiver Cole Monago. Diving touchdown catch. Clyde Kane takes a 16-7 lead. What a play there. Remember to bring your student ID to any Freddy's now through Sunday. You know what you get? A free frozen custard. Not bad. Out to Pridgen Stadium we go. Cy Fair all over Cy Park tonight. And you know what? It started early. Jonathan Johnson gets the screen pass, hits the outside, and you see what happens. See you later. Braces 52 yards to the house for the touchdown. Next possession, Cy Fair in the red zone. Carter Cravens drops back, finds tight end. Jack Whitmer for six. Cy Fair wins big. Easy night for the Cats. 44-0 the final. Four Ben Marshall, 5A state finalist last December, taking on Ryan Four Ben Hightower over at Hall Stadium. First quarter, Buffaloes would jump on Hightower. Devon, a chain, four star running back, breaks a big one right here, and that would set up the buffs. U of H's Dana Holgerson taking this one in, liking what he's seeing there. Then a chain able to finish it off, giving the Bucs an early 7 0 lead. They get the victory. They toss the shutout, 19 0 the final. All right, from Alvin, time to toss it back to the KPRC studios for more highlights. Let's check in now with Vanessa Richardson. Take it away. Hey, Randy, we're not even close to being done yet. Plenty of football on this gorgeous Friday night. Let's go out to Katie at Historic Road Stadium for Klein Kane and Katie Tompkins. Klein Kane up 10-0, second quarter. Tompkins quarterback Jalen Milrow hands off to 24 R.J. Smith for the short touchdown. That makes it 10-7 Klein. Klein Kane quarterback Luke Party, spot number three wide receiver Manego, diving touchdown catch, and Klein takes a 16-7 uh, lead. But Tompkins would come back ultimately for the 42-20. Win. Across the complex, slot to Katie's Legacy Stadium, Jersey Village taking on Cinco Ranch. Weaver passes to wide receiver Bo Smodek and a touchdown for Jersey Village, but the Falcons were not done. Xavier Joyce with the long touchdown run. JV takes down Cinco Ranch. And finally, uh, we are at the game I was at. This is a Tomball Christian, Westbury Christian. I was there first quarter at Teray Lewis. And they're going to win it 33-21. to Ultimately, Westbury Christian Wildcats winning this one 33-21. to We'll take it back to you, uh, right out to you, Randy. All right, good stuff. More highlights straight ahead. I want to tell you about the new Friday Football Frenzy poll. It is up as of this afternoon for next week's Game of the Week. Let's check it out. Your chance to vote between now and uh, coming up on Tuesday. Also, download our Frenzy app if you haven't done that. This is on the Frenzy tab. A click to Houston. You see some great choices right there. Again, voting underway now. Vote often. It ends noon on Tuesday. I'll announce the winner coming up on Tuesday night. Not quite done with the Frenzy. One more break when we come back. More highlights. We'll wrap it up, but first, the Deer Park Band takes us out. Howdy, I'm Mike Walzell, and this is the Houston Tasso officiating crew for tonight's game. Welcome to Friday Night Frenzy. Number 27, All right, welcome back. Final stop Thursday, frenzy spotlight, Ridgepoint North Shore at U of H's TDECU Stadium. North Shore determined effort to avoid an 0-2 start. Demetrius Davis and the offense overwhelming, even without Zach Evans and Shadrach Banks. Defense did their part as well, and they took out to Ridgepoint Thursday night, 38-7. Big one next week. They get Westfield in their third game. That's also one of our uh, featured games on the poll for our game of the week. All right, that's going to do it from Alvin. Thanks for watching. Watching as always, we'll do it again next week. And remember, keep voting on the game of the week for the Friday Football Frenzy. For the entire crew, have a great weekend.